So here's a couple of pictures of the 99 five speed all wheel drive CRV that I don't know the transmission or something took a shit in it like years and years ago. Um, I, I really wanted to fix it. It I love this car, but you know, I thought about giving it away, but you know, it just the city came down on me. Somebody in my neighborhood didn't like all my cars, so I posted it up for sale and some junker came and, and picked it up. Um, gave me 200 bucks so here it is leaving it's a it's a sad day to see it go but it needed to go because I probably never would have worked on it anyway we've had some problems with the 06 CRV so here I am fixing it so my wife had a flat tire the other day and it was kind of in the sidewall I went ahead and plugged it but I think the damage was done because it started bubbling out here I took the spare off and the spare is like the original spare from the car like 2006 and it also had a hole in it so or a nail in it and I went ahead and plugged that one today um, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the spare on the car and then get a new tire for this and then put the spare back on the spare because that thing's old I don't want to trust it for everyday use it'll be good enough for like a day or two and then we'll just get a new tire because that that tire is done But the screw was facing downward, and so I'm pretty sure it basically messed up the inside of the sidewall. But I went ahead and plugged it, and it held. I mean, it's been two days, and it's, it's held, so. But this bubble right here is not good at all. Another problem we're having with the uh, 06 CRV is the tensioner pulley is squeaking. Even though when I replaced the water or even though when I replaced the power steering pump I replaced the tensioner as well but it started squeaking I don't know probably a month or two ago and so it's really frustrating because it's it's a pain in the ass to replace so so I'm not really gonna record this just because I've done it I've already recorded it but you know I will do some overviews. All right, we got it all out of there. Um, here's the new one. And here's the old one. I took the pulley off because I wanted to see. <coughs> I took the pulley off because I wanted to see the bearing and the bearing Looks like it's in good shape. I mean, I don't know why it's squeaking, but it is what it is. This one is the exact same brand, same everything, just because it's warrantied through Rock Auto. And people that don't know, Rock Auto does do warranties. And so it's not a big deal. You just buy it and then you send it back or you can send it back and they send you a new one. And yeah you do have to pay for shipping but the part is still way cheaper than what you would pay at your local auto parts store but i can't really tell the bearing spins freely i mean it seems to be fine but we'll see let's get this one installed and knock this thing out start her up all right so we got everything tightened down um 
we need to get a wrench on the tensioner and pull it um, that direction so we can get the belt on. This is always a pain in the ass. But I did get these uh, I did get these offset wrenches to fit onto it. So hopefully this will help. Because last time I did this, I really struggled. All right, so I ended up just doing it like this because the offset wrench wasn't working real well. All right, let's get everything connected again. I need to get this motor mount back on here. All right, we got everything hooked back up and got this ground wire right here i have no clue where it goes i think last time i did this i disconnected it and never hooked it back up and i dropped a bolt that one it's somewhere i don't know where it went um but i don't know where this ground wire goes uh, does it connect right there probably not i don't know where it would go so we're just going to leave it for now until I can look it up and see where it goes. All right, so we got everything back together. Um, put some fresh power steering fluid in there. That's uh, because the stuff that was in there was dirty. I mean, it was black. It's pretty bad. I might need to flush that a couple times. But uh, let's start her up and see what happens. All right, well, I think that's pretty successful. Um, we got the spare tire plug and put on. Hopefully it'll hold air. Um, I'm gonna take this tire tomorrow and get it replaced. And we got that done. Hopefully it, it doesn't squeak anymore and everything is good to go because I just replaced this thing this summer. Like before vacation and so who knows all right well that's the end of this video um hopefully the tensioner holds up uh, it doesn't start squeaking again it is the same brand as the original but maybe there was just a problem with that one and not the brand itself and it is a gates so uh, you know i would think it's good but who knows and uh as far as the 99 CRV, you know, it's it's sad. I hate to see it go um, You know, I really would have liked to have kept it But you know, then again, like I said, I probably it probably would have set for another five or six years before I touched it so It's nice. that has gone the carport is a lot cleaner. You know, I feel like it's it's a clean slate now I can really get back working on the red wagon the beagle and uh, the other 99, or it's a 98 CRV. I can get that one back running, uh, re rebuild the B20 on it, and that hopefully will go to my daughter. Um, hopefully, we'll get that done by February. I'm hoping that should give me plenty of time to get it done. So, uh, we got a lot more content coming, a lot more uh, engine building, and you know, whatever else maintenance that needs to be done. I know there's some maintenance that needs to be done on my wife's 06 CRV. Uh, just random stuff. I think there's a um, a sway bar in link on the the front driver's side that's either loose or something's wrong with it because there's like a little knocking sound, or it could be something else. I don't know, but I haven't really diagnosed it yet. Uh, but we do have a lot more content coming, and I am going to start posting videos more regularly here. Um, at least one a week. I want, I'm going to try to do two a week 
and possibly three a week. So stay tuned for the videos and I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.